Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Pocket Captains Plays Starbase Orion, the heir apparent to my favorite Master of Orion 2. That's right, I said 2. I haven't really given the new Master of Orion a chance, so we're going to stick with 2 for now. Military conflict has erupted at the Hez system. Well, yeah. What was I doing at the Hez system? Biorich fungi discovered at Hez Prime. New star system explored at Hez. So Hez seems to be the place to go. Let's go to Hez. There's a battle. Let's do battle. Orders. I hope I, I hope this... When I load these up, I hope it isn't repeating something I've already done. That's what I'm kind of worried about. Uh, retreat. Retreat to the nearest friendly system. And that's your orders. Back. Good luck, little dude. Good luck. Now... This guy here, the purple dude, definitely, definitely we're in each other's territories. And if I, again, if I click back out, he's got one, two, three systems. He's got a couple of ships. His fleet is impressive. Ooh, Lord of Destruction, I think is what that's called. So, yeah, he's, uh, he's definitely got ships. As I recall, that was my new priority. Ships. I've got one ship at Rastaban. Good old Rastaban. I've got four worlds, so I went bigger into expansion. Oh, beg your pardon. If I got five, one, two, three, four, five. I went bigger into expansion than he did. And that's part of the game. Explore, expand, exploit, and exterminate. That's the four X's of these games. Um, I don't know if you guys knew that, but that's the fundamentals of how these things were designed. He's got a colony ship. That's all I can see. And there's one little ship here on Arcab. Toxic rich. I like rich worlds though. Not necessarily toxic ones, but rich ones. But I think Perseus was my next destination. So, as I'm not sure how star uh, terraforming works on this game yet and whether or not I have the capability, let's take a quick look at the Empire here. What's going on? Uh, Gamesia Prime building a hydroponic center. Looks like it needs some help because I think Gamesia. I go back and look again at Gamesia. Oh, Rastaban. Yeah, Gamesia is not immediately threatened. It's okay for the time being. Um, 27,000 babies per turn. That's good. So they're having babies. And it's a big world. So I think that's why they're having so many babies. Economic funding. Yeah. Okay. It's holding my economy together at Jux 3. I've got a colony ship on Jux 2. I don't want to lose the research. I would love to move a guy over there, but everybody I move is always research. Star bases are being built, but very, very, very slowly. You know what? If I don't see an automated factory, I know this didn't save my last turn. I'm sure I ended with automated factories. Let's do a turn, and I bet you it's an automated factory. Efficient factories. Sorry, it's efficient factories in this game. Oh, I can watch the battle. So all that stuff I did at the end of the last episode where I was updating my fleets and moving everything around, basically it's not happening. At least I didn't see any of that. So there we have it. Uh, can't really get too excited about that just now. He's chasing pretty hard. Zoom in. Where's that little guy? There's my little guy. Run, little guy, run. Can I zoom in on him? Oh, yeah. I can watch him run. This is more fun. That's a nice looking ship. Running like a crazy guy. Run, 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 run. Battle's half over. He's chasing hard. Shields are not applicable. Armor's up, structure's up. Which way are you heading? Are you heading toward the bad guy? It's hard to see. I mean, it's the heat of battle. I know you're probably pretty excited. I wonder what that chart in the upper right, how it works. Oh, I've lost my little guy. I'm trying to try to click on something, but I guess that was a bad idea. It's the weapons damage chart. Basically saying the further away it is, the less effective my weapons are. And, okay. So I'm assuming that means I got away. Hooray for the good guys. What is he doing? This guy here is heading to Hez. 
Oh, good news. <laughs> I was just there and it wasn't a picnic. So enjoy your, your time it has. I also got Grangus because it is a, a bridge into my world. I mean, Rastaban's supposed to be the stopping point to get them away from our core worlds of Jux. Hmm. Let's go do some research. Nope, that's my research summary. That's not the button I wanted. Research, bottom right. So now I did star. I, I actually had an idea for something I wanted to do. Interspecies network. Increasing empire population growth product in proportional to your research. Ooh, 900 points. Weaponry. I remember doing gauze turret. I think I wanted to start thinking about defending myself. And I think that's still a good idea. Although Research Center 2 is also 600 points. It might speed that up. Mm hmm. Skiff. Uh, ships for the skiff. No, I don't want to put something on my ships. Tax isn't really a problem yet. Let's do Research Center 2, actually. And that'll speed up my research overall for everything that goes forward. And then I can go for the Goss turret afterward. I've changed my mind from the last episode. Because if they're a flat out... Then getting the research center will benefit all my future research. Plus, if I go to Goss right after that, it should come even faster. So I think that's actually a, an investment in faster weapons tech. But I do have to think about some weapons tech now. So as I recall, right after I got that, I had to go world by world. Let's go, uh, yeah, not galaxy. Let's go to Jux. Let's go world by world. And let's start putting in, um, huh. where is, see, this is just the lack of familiarity. I normally know what to do. Empire. Gomisa. Hmm. Summary screen is what I'm looking for where I can decide what I want to build world by world. But anyway, I am definitely going to go with First and foremost, efficient factories. And I want to see how that speeds everything up. Done. Back. 11 turns. What was it before? Agent training camp. Efficient factories. Please do this right away. Done. Seven turns, 32 turns. I have to wait till they finish, actually, know the full benefit. But I know that some of these, like colony ships, etc., they're going to need those. Ah, oh, they're going to need those efficient factories. It's the only way to get done this time, this lifetime, and always efficient factories. Yes, my income is going to take a hit, and I'm okay with that because it's worth it to get some efficient factories because there will be future building on those worlds. Done. I don't see right now the benefits of building a star base without the factory first. Because I'm waiting forever on those star bases. But if I can speed up star base construction, then I can make these worlds available for other projects. I can't have them tied up building star bases all day long. So that's it for my, my guys. They're going to be really busy for a while. Building me. See, there's a nice wormhole, but I can't use it. Can't reach. I don't think I can reach anything right now. Let's hit turn. Oh, you know what I could do is use this time to negotiate. The auctioneer for governors, Fay and Fawn is about to end. I can't even afford the minimum bid. Nashira Prime has finished efficient start factories, as has Jux 2. Let's see what that did. Nashira Prime. Starbase in 32 turns, Jux 2, Colony Ship in 33 turns. See, I'm not sure how much of a boost that was. I definitely have an efficient factory. Uh, increasing industrial production by one for each worker. GCs is one. So, it's not a cheap build. There's only two guys. So, I think it, on worlds where there's more people, I should see a bigger benefit. So there's an extra three points for a star base on the Shira Prime. 
And on Rastaban, oh goodness, help them. 24 turns until I get my next upgrade. I would love to send some help to Rastaban because Rastaban is my bridgehead to protect me from my friends. Speaking of my friends, let's go to foreign. Let's get an audience. He's unpredictable. I have a treaty. What else can we get with our friend? Let's do another treaty. Uh, no, I don't want to do an alliance. That's always tricky. If he goes to war with somebody, I end up going to war with somebody. Let's do a research. Oh, research pact. Confirm. Agency. I have no spies. I have two spies. Mine is 8.8. Mm. Focus. Mm -hmm. Astro tech? Military tech. Okay. History. Okay. Not a lot of interesting things going on in history. No, my economy is a little bit, yeah. Okay, so that's those. Still exploring the game, learning my way around. So let's go ahead. And what do we have? What's happened? Has anything happened? He's still on his way to Hez. For some reason, everything stopped. Oh, maybe because my scout ships arrived. That's probably what happened. And there's nothing I can do with that scout ship. So, the Empire, always take a look, see if anything's going on. It's interesting. My person's still en route to help out. And I see nothing else going on. Very, yeah, let's throw some more people in a search. Efficient factories will come when they come. Two turns, that's as good as it can get. So, we don't want to waste too much time on that. Although my economy does need some love. I wonder if the efficient factories helps with the economy. My affinity with planetary compositions will certainly be of use to you. Magistrate Zalon, available for hire. He rejected my request for a research pact. How dare he? Magistrate. Precious metals plus 10 GCs per turn, plus one production per worker increases the mineral value of the planet to very rich. Oh, now that's something I could use. Minimum 100 GCs. We'll hang on to that idea. We will definitely hang on to that idea. I don't have 100 GCs. Oops. Empire, pressing the Empire button, now done. Empire button wise, um, I have one more turn till Jux 3 goes back to refilling my economy with lovely, lovely credits. Star bases are being constructed, factories, nothing going on. Keeping an eye on his fleets, of course. His very, very interesting fleets that worry me greatly. Because I have no real defense grid. Should I have? Oh! One colony arrives safely at Rastaban. Jux. Three is finished effective efficient factories and they have a battle. Battle. Can I watch them? Nope. Can't do anything. So I was just curious to see what would happen if I hit the button. I would love to take some of these richer worlds. So let's go to the Empire. Jux three has now gone back to economic funding. Oh, look at that. Didn't really make enough of a difference. No who I put in there, it's not helping. Oh, no, economic funding is fine. It's food that's hurting. I'm looking at the wrong one. <laughs> oh, well. So Rastaban is now eight turns to an efficient factory, which is good. Because it's bordering potential hostile territory. Because he is, according to the, the, the guide there... He's very likely to drop his pact at any time. 
Not something I'm comfortable with. So, let's go back. This has got a really good Master Varian feel, I'll be honest with you. I did not give this nearly... Uh, again, I'm still kicking myself for not giving this a fair enough go. As I'm still clicking buttons to find out how everything works. I still like that. I'm looking for opportunities. Oh, the question mark. You know, I haven't hit the question mark yet. Markab 2 has finished building efficient factories. Next is a star base. Mm hmm 63 turns. Well, that's a long time. My star base still stink. Still stink. Let's hit the question mark. And then I want to hit that. Well, what's the no button do? Oh, it shows me my territories. I wonder why it says don't do that. Or is it the areas I can't reach? But I can reach up. Can I visit some of those planets up there? Sorry, can I just zoom in from... Oh. Signy, Zombie, Zozma. Does his... Do I have the ability to reach out to some of those worlds because we're buddies? With my scout. No, it's just informing that I know about them. He's just letting me know that He's explored them, so I guess I've explored them is what's going on. Okay. And the question mark is just telling me stuff. Foreign, morale, command, combat. These are the things I really should read more on. And I, I said more on. More about. <laughs> I say more on. More about after I'm not watching the game with you guys. So I sound a little more intelligent maybe. So there's that question mark. I know what to do now. Go find the question mark. So we'll play on a little more. There's going to be a short one today. Turn. I just needed to get back into the game. I just, oh, I'm not making any money. Oh, the auction's going to end. Well, I'm sorry. I haven't got the cash for you. I really am. That would have been helpful. But I need the research too. And it makes a difference. 24 and 19. See, the thing is I got a balanced economy. But I'm not making enough money for... Oh. What are you doing over there? You should be building. Why were you over there? The only one doing research is Jux 3. At least until some of those other worlds. Like Nishira Prime. That is going to be a research world. And a nice one too. Starbase is coming. Now, does any of these worlds have colonies? Where is that one? Jux 3 shows all three. Oh, sorry, Jux Prime, not that one. Gunisa. Well, good, yeah, so I can see the other worlds. Do they have the colony base capability, I wonder? Go away. Build. Colony. Main barracks, star base, research, efficient factories, and military. I have to build colony ships to go to the colonies. Hmm. Not necessarily what I wanted to see. That's okay. No colony bases. It's all colony ships. Okay, I'll put that back the way it was. And nothing else going on. It's exciting until we get some discoveries done. And or some more of this stuff built. Like another colony ship for going down south. And I gotta tag somebody to build my warships. It's time for me to seriously think about warship production. Who's going to be the lucky winner? Homeworld is building to keep my economy balanced and providing the food and the research. So they're really too busy. Um, Nashira Prime is mineral rich, but it's supposed to be a research colony. And um, Jux 2 is mineral rich, but it's building me colony ships. But it may end up being Nashira Prime. I hate to do it because it is my researching world. But it's also a rich world. It's also got the population to support construction. So it has to be seriously considered. Look at the industry. 156. I just realized there's an industry number right below each of the world. Large swamp, mineral rich, high gravity. High gravity is a problem. Ancient ruins, buildings, and an industry. 156. 
Well, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to know that yeah, I want you in the triple digits at least to be a, a shipbuilding world. So I guess Nashira Prime isn't going to be the research mecca I was hoping it would be, at least not right now. Mm -hmm. Things I'm finding out. I guess the dollar signs on the right are indicating loss or, or plus income. Mm-hmm. Or no, they're for purchases, aren't they? I can or cannot afford to purchase something. That's what that means. Turn. Jux Prime finished efficient factories. And that's impacting my income. Which in turn is impacting my research. With Starbase is coming in three on that Markab and Nishira. I don't want to put any of those into research. None of the other worlds really have sufficient numbers. So my economy is now starting to suffer. On the other hand, groceries are up. But if I move people out of groceries, then I lose even more economy. Stink. I need to think of some way. I'm not good at this yet. All life springs forth from a beautiful harvest. An intelligent paramecium. The smallest, if I remember correctly from biology, the smallest single-celled organism with a nervous system. Four turns. 100 GCs. 100, one, food plus far, one plus food per farmer. Plus two food for farmer. Ah, oh, fudge. And I haven't got the economy to support him either. So my economy is really becoming a problem. As is my research. <laughs> As is my building time. <laughs> Even with these extra worlds. So I think I'm missing something. Something I haven't figured out yet. Turn. Gamisa has finished automated factories. But again, I'm taking a hit on my economy. But I really need these factories to speed up the building. I've got one more automated factory coming up after this, and then everybody will have built it. But by then, I'm sure I'm going to be in the negatives in the economy again, which means I'm going to go down even lower in research. Not happy about that. I need babies born badly. And I've lost my paramecium, but that's not a surprise. Oops, wrong button. One more term till efficient factories in the last hit of my economy. I don't know, maybe trading posts is something to consider. We'll see. We'll finish the last of the efficient factories. And then uh, we'll call it for today. This is going to be a quick one. Ah, oh, right on schedule. There's the hit of my economy. Boom. Plus two now. But I got those two guys on Rastaban. <laughs> 50 turns for a star base. Well, there's only two of them. And they're working their hardest. But that's as far as they're going to get. So what I've got is I've got an early game problem. I don't seem to have enough stuff to do everything I want to do. And I don't have enough economy. It's My economy is suffering for it. So I have to look at the balance. So, that'll about wrap it up for today because I've got to go to work. So, uh, it's a learning curve for me. If any of you guys out there play this game and you know this game and you know I'm clearly making a mistake or you're saying, look, Bozo. Mm, yeah. If you know that I'm make, clearly making some kind of a mistake and I'm missing something, write in, let me know. I want to know more. I want you guys, I want your wisdom, your input. Things you've learned, lessons learned. Let us all know. We'll all benefit from it as we as, as I'm struggling through. Hopefully other people are struggling through with this too. I think the benefits in the long run when I figure this out means I'm going to have a portable game I can take with me of games that I really, really love. 
and it looks like he's done a great job. And I've heard he's working on a second version of this game, Starbase Orion 2. So I want to throw my support behind that because I think that is the right thing. It's the best thing. I'm all in favor. So if you guys are in favor of things like this too, bringing good star base star battle type strategy games to the iPad, the iPhone, let's all throw our support behind this game and his, his successor game. Uh, join me in that because it's one step closer to all of us having a little bit of fun every day. Thank you very much for listening, everybody, and you have a great day. Bye-bye. Get more tips at pocketcaptains.com.